Hello, today we are going to discuss about cloud computing. So in this we are going to learn about what is cloud computing then the type of clouds like public cloud, private cloud and the hybrid cloud and then the cloud services and then advantages of cloud computing. So let's first discuss about what is cloud computing. So here the cloud computing is a type of internet based computing which provide the delivery of hosted service over the internet. It means it is used to provide the services to the user which is requested by the user over the internet. So it's provide a network of remote servers to store, manage and process data over the internet rather than accessing a local server or a personal computer. So here the company which are offering these computers computing services are called cloud providers and they charge for the cloud computing services based upon the usage. For example, like Microsoft Windows Azure, Amazon Web Services, Huawei Galaxy Cloud. So these are the uh, companies which are providing us the uh, cloud services or the uh, cloud computing services. So this diagram shows how we can assess these uh, so various services over the our devices like the laptop is assessing the presentations and smartphones are assessing emails and the tablets tablet is assessing the address books or the so it shows that the cloud having the multiple services like we can assess the documents emails calendars chats spreadsheets which are saved over the internet so these it means we can assess the services from anywhere and from any device but we have the internet connection for these to assess these services the next is the type of cloud so here are the public cloud private cloud and the hybrid cloud so let's discuss about first the public cloud so here the public cloud is a cloud which is designed for the journal public so for the use of journal public so here the service provider use the internet to make resources such as an application and the storage which is assessed by the journal public like uh, we are assessing the google play store for the applications and we are assessing the google uh, Google Drive for assessing the uh, for assessing the storage. So here the example of the com uh, com uh, companies which are providing the public clouds like Amazon, Elastic Compute Cloud, EC2, IBM's Blue Cloud, Sun Clouds, Google App Engine, and the Window Azure Services platform. So these are providing us the public cloud. So these clouds are inexpensive as compared to the other clouds because user pay for the storage capacity that they use. Here the limitation of this public cloud it is less secure and have a less SLA specifications. The next is private cloud. So here the private cloud is a cloud which is basically designed for a enterprise use or for the use of a company. So it provides flexibility, scalability and provisioning, automation and monitoring to a enterprise. It means the enterprise only monitor and automates these private clouds. So here the private clouds are not sell as a services. It is not it is not designed for uh, the purpose of selling so it is only used by the large enterprises because these are the expensive clouds so the main concern for the design of private cloud is to provide effective control of data security and the quality of service for the company for example like amazon vpc vmware vcloud so these are the private clouds the next is the hybrid cloud. So the hybrid cloud is a combination of public and the private cloud. And here the most of the enterprise use this hybrid cloud for security and control purposes because not all of the information is open to the public. So here in the many companies are using the hybrid cloud. Here the hybrid cloud provides scalability and the cloud based services. For example, like Microsoft System Center, Google Cloud Platform and the Rackspace providing the hybrid clouds. Next is the cloud services. So here the cloud services are broadly divided into three, three categories like uh, cloud software as a service SaaS, cloud platform as a service PaaS, and cloud infrastructure as a service IaaS. So these models are independent of each other. So let's discuss about first that is cloud software as a service SaaS. So here the software as a service is a way of delivering application over the internet as a service. So here the, uh, the cloud computing uh, companies providing us the service which is uh, providing us the software. So here the SaaS applications are referred as 
it it is also known as web based software on demand software or the hosted software here the provider manages access to the application including security availability and the performance and the saas customers have no hardware or software to buy install maintain or update here the access to the application is easy by having internet connection the example the companies which are providing the cloud so software as a service so here are the google apps salesforce workday cisco web ex so these are the companies which are providing us the cloud software as a service so here it gives us the softwares as a service or we can access the software by having the internet connection The next is the cloud platform as a service (PaaS). So here, in a PaaS model, a cloud provider delivers hardware and the software tools needed for application development to its user as a service. It means the application developer uses the hardware and software which is provided uh, provided by the cloud providers or the cloud computing companies, and it used to develop these uh, de uh, develop application by using this hardware and the software. So here, PaaS provider hosts the hardware and software on its own infrastructure. It means application developer has Does not need to buy the hardware and the software for the development development of their application, and PES allow developers to frequently change or upgrade operating system features. And user access PES through a web browser, and it charge for that access on a per use basis or as a monthly fees for the access to the platform. And example of PES vendors are Salesforce.com, Forbes.com, Google's, and the Amazon. So here, the PES platform for devel development and management of its softwares are Appear IQ, Amazon Web Services, AWS, Elastic Beanstalk, and a Google App Engine. So these are the cloud platform as a services. The next is the cloud infrastructure as a service (IaaS). So, if this service provides infrastructure, it means it provides this cloud offers infrastructure resources such as hardware. software servers and the storage so it is is providing us the infrastructure to design a application or a software so users can use these resources over internet and deploy application on them and ies platform offer highly scalable, scalable resources that can be adjusted on demand and ies customers pay on a per use basis typically by the hour week or month an example of the infrastructure as a service are amazon web services Windows Azure, Google Compute Engine. So these are the companies which are providing the cloud infrastructure as a service. It providing the infrastructure like hardware, software, server, and storage for designing a application or software. The use the uh, application developer have no need to buy the hardware, software, or the storage space for their development of the applications or the softwares. So the here the advantage of cloud computing the first advantage is device and location independence it means we can access these services from anywhere from an, and from any device but we have the internet connection for this then is multi tenancy it means it refer to the software architecture in which a single instance of software runs over over a server and serves multiple user it means it means it can serve the multiple user at the same time reliable it means it provide a good quality of services and performance so it is a trusted service network scalability and elasticity it means it is a large network and we can extend this network to a larger geographic in larger area then is performance it is providing a good performance to a users and it also add the securities to these services so this is all about cloud computing thank you